Hi, I'm Joanne Sanborn, and I'm glad to have you along on today's grand Everglades adventure. Today we'll talk about the Everglades themselves and why they're important to a healthy planet. The Everglades is a broad swath of flat, semi-tropical land. Its health is important to both the Gulf of Mexico and Florida Bay. The distinct habitats of the Everglades provide homes for a wide variety of flora and fauna, some found nowhere else in the world. Most of the Everglades are only a few inches above sea level, but a few inches in elevation can make a big difference in what can thrive. Where there's plenty of nutrients and water, the plant growth is full and lush. The wide swaths of sawgrass require few nutrients. The Everglades has two seasons, the wet and the dry. During the dry season, the only water that can be found is in deep water sloughs. As they struggle to survive the dry season, alligators, fish, and reptiles will congregate in a wet spot. During the wet season, roughly May through November, the excess rainfall floods the land. Plankton and fish flourish, and there's plenty of food for everyone. The water from the summer rains will flow gently to the Gulf, where it will help provide a nutrient-rich environment for the next generation of aquatic life. Recently, several tree islands were excavated. Traces of iron and other minerals were found in the soil. It seems that early man camping on the spot has left enough trace minerals for these little tree islands to take purchase amid the sawgrass. There's so much to learn about the Everglades, and I never get tired of painting it. Thanks for coming along today. See you next time. You can find other Grand Everglades adventures at joannesanborn.com.